Hello, Pastor Steve Waldron here, New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia. Neat little book I've got, I think it's been out a couple years, by James Ostrowski, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, about progressivism, an idea that is destroying America. Now basically, progressivism really entered the lexicon of uh, Western thought, really maybe in the 1860s, and the basic thought was, is that there are no absolute truths, so things continue to progress. Whenever you use the term progressivism, it's a loaded term, because you're saying what you had before was not truth. Now, we in the Church of Living God, we're the, think of this terminology, you know, uh, 1 Peter 3, excuse me, 1 Timothy 3.15, we're the pillar and the ground of the truth. We're not progressing anywhere. Acts 2.38 is an absolute. Oneness is an absolute. Holiness is an absolute. So we're not progressing. And that's what's known as conservatism. So the idea of progressivism is an evolutionary metaphysic that says we're just going to keep getting better and better. When really, evil men and seducers are waxing worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Now we understand technology is progressing, but that's all in fulfillment of prophecy, Daniel 12, 4. So, great book identifying this. Now he's got a couple on the back of uh, recommendations. One is by Murray N. Rothbard. James Ostrowski is one of the finest people in the libertarian movement. You get Rothbard's imprimatur, you've got something there. And then Ostrowski has developed into something of a modern day Thomas Paine from the Freeman Ideas on Liberty. So let's take a look in this book. It's done by Casanova Books, Buffalo, New York, libertymovement.org. Now I don't know, this was done in 2014, a lot about Ostrowski. So if he's got some weird beliefs or something, don't make guilt by association, okay? First of all, somebody with weird beliefs can write great on a particular subject. So you can't throw out the message because of the messenger. The messenger may be crap. I have no idea of his personal beliefs and all this kind of stuff. And, uh, and secondly, don't associate me with any weird beliefs you may have. <laughs> Because I don't know anything about it. So what is progressivism? We're all progressives now. The origin of progressivism. The failure of progressivism. Progressives' alchemy. True liberalism. Progressivism's vanquished foe. Conservatism. War is the health of the progressive state. So a lot of people can't figure out, you know, Hillary Clinton is running as a progressive. She says she's a progressive. Why she would be a neocon and be, be kind of be pushing war. War is the health of the progressive state. It might help you see. Progressivism as utopianism, a rogues gallery of progressives, how to bury progressivism, and restore American liberty. So this is just a fantastic book on a subject people hear a lot about. We all kind of like to be known as progressive and blah, blah. And sometimes we don't realize the loaded connotations of that word, the, the, word, the history of that word, and then the failures of it. Everywhere that it's used, there's no ground of being. People are loose from their moorings, and it never ends well. It just does not. Uh, social justice warring, feelings, thoughts. There's no basis for society, such as the Bible. And so you've just got conflicting thoughts. And what did Nietzsche say? When God is dead in the hearts and minds of the people, nature pours a vacuum, there will rise a superman and the will to power, and then it's tyranny. And that's why progressivism leads to anarchy, which leads to tyranny, or it just leads straight to tyranny. So, again, great book. I appreciate him writing this book. God bless you today.